What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, here at the annual Cool Tech Under $50 for all of 2018. The holidays are here. This is aimed to give you, you know, some good ideas of things to ask for maybe for the holidays coming up, or some good wish list ideas, things to buy someone else, anything like that. Now, each and every month, I do a Cool Tech Under 50 episode. This is going to be the top 10 best of the best from throughout the entire year, judging from your sales, your feedback, the ratings, all that good stuff. Top 10 from 2018. So everything you see, I will have listed in the description down below so you can check it out. Now, first up, coming in at number 10, is going to be a Sateki monitor stand. Now, what's cool about this is it also has a built-in USB hub, as well as a headphone jack and a microphone jack. You can just plug it right into the riser itself. With the four built-in USBs, they also transfer data. So you can plug in like a flash drive, a hard drive, a mouse, anything like that. Now, obviously, it's called a monitor riser, but you can use this with pretty much whatever you want, from a monitor, maybe a laptop, anything weighing up to 22 pounds, it says. I think it's a cool item because it can really help cut down the clutter on your desktop. You can just like tuck away your mouse and keyboard underneath, maybe store some books under it maybe, because now you have that added elevation. This Sateki riser comes in at under $40. It comes in both black and white color options as well, so you can match to your desk setup. And I think it's a great pickup to improve your gaming setup. Number nine is from the back to school tech video this summer, and that's this LED desk lamp with built in USBs and wireless charging. This could be another great addition to your desk, maybe your nightstand or your dorm room, and then just take advantage of the built in features. Checking it out, the neck of the lamp has a folding design so you can position it at different angles, and the base is going to give you your lighting options. You have the on and off button, four lighting color options with two warmer colors and two cooler colors. And the arrows on the bottom are for adjusting the brightness. You also have two fade out feature buttons, as you can see with the one and two hour button there. That's just going to automatically shut the light off after that time period. But what's really cool is that the entire base of the lamp is a wireless Qi charging pad. You just sit your phone down on the lamp and it's going to charge. Definitely a cool little bonus. And if your phone doesn't have wireless charging built in, there is a USB port on the back. So you can just plug it in and use that. For only $40, this was definitely a popular item from the series. Now coming in at number 8 is something I just showed off a month ago and was already on this list for top 10 so you guys bought a ton of these really quickly. That's this Anchor PowerCore Fusion 5000. It is a battery bank but also a home charging hub all in one. With the name being 5000 that means you have 5000 milliamp hours built in which should give you at least one or two full charges with most phones. These do come in three different colors to pick from, red, white and black. And built in is Anchor's Power IQ technology, which is going to charge your phone the fastest it's possibly capable of. I just like how it's nice and compact and versatile for both charging your phone at home, and if you're going out, you bring it with you on the go and it's going to act like a battery bank. Definitely ideal for a day trip. You can pick these up for only $25. Next up was a popular one from August. For number 7, we have this Sunrise Alarm Clock, and this is much more than just your standard clock. So first off, the clock itself has this nice mood lamp surrounding it, as you can see, and then you can pick the color of that. And there are some built-in like rainbow wave breathing effects for you RGB lovers out there. You can adjust the brightness as well and pinpoint a specific color for it to be, which is definitely going to spice up the look of your nightstand. But one cool feature in particular that I really like is the sunrise and sunset feature, which is how it gets its name. A half hour before your alarm clock is set to go off, the clock's going to slowly start to emulate the lighting of a sunrise. The mood lamp starts out dim and then gets much brighter like the sun. This is going to help your body start to naturally awaken. It also has that same feature but in reverse for the sunset, which is going to fade the lamp out at night. But the clock itself works as you'd expect. You have your buttons up top for changing the brightness, dimming it, you have your volume buttons, the snooze button, turning the radio on and off because there is a built-in FM radio, and you also have some touch sensitive buttons on the face of the clock. This is going to be for like setting your alarm, changing the time, and you can adjust the brightness and colors with these buttons as well. For like $25, there's a lot going on here. I think it would make a great little gift coming up. And like I said before, with that sunrise feature, it's just something really cool that makes this clock stand out from the ordinary ones. For number six is actually one of my favorite finds of the entire year, and that's this Cybersonic Amp and DAC. This highly exceeded my expectations when I picked it up, like absolutely blew me away. I know how popular audio gadgets are in this series, and rightfully so. This was the most purchased. So this desktop headphone amp and DAC, so everybody out there just using your PC or laptop's onboard audio. If you're not happy with that audio quality and you want a major boost, just plug this in and you'll be thrilled. No drivers needed, it's just plug and go. So what this does is just overall enhances the quality of your audio, giving you volume control and a boost at the same time. Having that volume wheel up top is going to be great for making quick and easy adjustments without you having to you know, go into your PC's volume settings in the toolbar, or if you don't have a volume wheel on your keyboard, this will help you out. 
To connect it, you have your mini USB port, you have your coaxial and optical jack for your digital audio out, plus your left and right line out for RCA cables, which means you can plug this into like speakers or something and use it with that. Then on the front, you have your quarter inch jack, a 3.5 millimeter jack for both headphones and a microphone, and then an additional line out jack. But on the left side there, you can spot that little lever. I'll just wanna give your audio quality that boost. T is for enhancing the treble, D is more of a standard sound signature, but flipping it down to B is gonna give your audio a bass boost. So whether it's for gaming, watching movies, listening to music, this will be much better than your stock audio experience you've been using, and it's an absolute killer addition to your setup for only 40 bucks. Now coming in at number five, we're halfway through here, is gonna be a digital item that you guys bought a ton of, and that is the Windows 10 activation key. I've had a ton of you guys thank me for showing this off because instead of spending like $100 to get Windows 10 activated, we showed a key for only like $12. And yes, this is legit, you can trust it. I wouldn't be showing it off if it wasn't. So in the summer when I showed off SCD key, that is the sister site of now yourcdkeys.com. When you head on over, you can just search for Windows 10. The actual product itself is the Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM CD key global. So you can see it's already much cheaper, but also using code RANDOMFP at checkout will give you 20% off, bringing a legit Windows 10 key to only $11.83. Right from there, you can activate your Windows and get it up and running. No more having that annoying watermark letting you know it's not activated. And from all the different builds I've done on this channel, I've always used these keys, I've had zero issues at all, and you're spending like 10% of what the retail cost is. Again, random FP is the code to save you 20%. Number four is an under desk headphone hanger and USB charging dock, another nifty setup gadget. This lets you hang two headphones and also charge three devices at the same time with the built-in USB hub. Just stick this under your desk with a 3M adhesive, then I even used two of my heaviest headphones and it held up just fine. You then plug this into the wall to give the hub some power to charge your devices and you're good to go. Inside the box, there's also cable mounting gear included if you want to neatly route your cables. It's up to you. If you just have one pair of headphones, you can even use the grooves on the other side of the hanger to hold cables and such. Right there at an arm's reach. So I'm digging this two-in-one hanger. I thought it was a cool little pickup and you all loved it. And this koozie hanger is just $25. Now the third most popular item from 2018 is a personal favorite of mine. And I think it's like one of the coolest things for the price. That is this five inch mini LCD screen that you can use with anything over HDMI. And it's only powered by a micro USB cable. These are meant to be used as a screen for a Raspberry Pi or an Arduino kit. But think outside the box here. You can use this as a secondary display for your PC, a laptop, really anything. As soon as you plug it in in your display settings, you can arrange it however you want to go along with your particular setup, whether it's you know duplicating your monitor or having it as a second display. And to show it off for you guys, what I did here and what you can do too, is put it inside your PC if you have a tempered glass side panel, and use it to show off you know temps, frame rates, PC usage, anything like that with a particular program you may use. Or just throw up your Twitter feed there, watch YouTube videos, and you can use this for anything, get creative. And then again, just showing off the versatility with my PC, I also had it in the front of my case since there was also tempered glass there too. And it's cool just to monitor everything right from this little new screen. And since it's HDMI, say you wanna plug it into your Xbox or your PS4, obviously you can. Inside the box, it comes with some mounting gear if you wanna pick up like a frame or a case for this. There's even a stylus inside the box. Why you ask? Because it's a touch screen, but only a touch screen if you use it with the Raspberry Pi. So I think this thing is awesome. And the only real drawback is that it's 480 by 800 resolution. But I mean, at this five inch size, the screen looks more than fine to me. No complaints on my end whatsoever. For only 35 bucks too, with everything you can do with this, it's an amazing deal. And I'm sure the creative ones out there can really appreciate it. Winding on down to number two is a five and a half inch wireless touchpad, remote and keyboard. So you can navigate through menus on your smart TV, your home theater PC, Xbox, PS4, anything with this remote. And it is both a touchscreen and a keyboard built in on the front. So you can toggle between the modes and it's plug and play. So you plug in the USB receiver and then you're set to go. As for the buttons, on the right side is a volume rocker and the power switch. On the bottom then you have your left and right mouse clicks in the middle with that silver button there on the right being your mode switcher from touchpad to keyboard. All very simple and it is backlit. So you'll have no issues using this at night or in dark conditions. I do have it plugged into my LG TV because for me, that's just where it's most useful, especially when browsing through apps like HBO or Netflix. It's always just a pain to manually type in with a regular remote, but here with the keyboard, it makes it a breeze. And since it's also that touchpad here, there are built-in gestures you can use, including your standard left and right mouse clicks. You could scroll with two fingers, pinch the zoom in and out, 
Even if you want to use this on your PC with three fingers, you could swipe between you know, your windows and your desktops you have pulled up. It's all pretty similar to gestures on an iPad. I personally just choose to use it with my TV, like I said. Definitely saves me a lot of times, really convenient, and it's only $20. And now last, but definitely not least, because it is number one, the top selling product of 2018 for my videos, believe it or not, is keyboard keycaps. These things just exploded on the channel. So this set is the YMDK Double Shot Shine Through Keycaps, or also known as Pudding Keycaps. And obviously with the craze of RGB keyboards, if you have RGB built in, this is gonna make it just look crazy. It really enhances the look of it. It's made for a cherry stem, so it's a wide variety of compatibility here. And inside the box, you get a full set. So depending on if you have like a 60% keyboard or a 104, anything like that, you should be fine. I have it on my Corsair K95 Platinum and it just looks crazy. Do keep in mind with Razer and Corsair keyboards, the bottom row is not standard. So everything but like three keys will fit, but it still looks crazy. This set was like $23. I know Kingston has a set out there for like 20 bucks. Definitely a really crazy looking keycap set. Make your keyboard and your desktop look better. Then since it's the holidays, I figured I'd give you a bit of a bonus one. This isn't something I showed off on the Cooltech Under 50 series. I showed it off before on the channel. It's under $50, and that's the Logitech G502. Uh, this is like my custom Random Frank P mouse. This has been like $35 recently, and it is the number one top selling item across all of my Amazon affiliate links. So it's no secret the G502 is by far like my favorite gaming mouse of all time. It's been like $35 recently with the holidays and stuff, which is just a killer deal for this mouse that launched at 80 when it first came out. I mean, I used it for like four years, never had an issue. It's just an altogether amazing mouse. It's a 12,000 DPI optical sensor. It has interchangeable weights and stuff if you wanna, you know, add some more weight to it. You got a built-in sniper button. To me, it's very ergonomic and it fits in my hands just fine. But yeah, my all-time favorite gaming mouse for just 35 bucks, figured I'd show it off. All right, guys, so that'll wrap it up for this giant episode of Cool Tech Under $50 for all of 2018. Really hope this helped give you some good, you know, holiday wish list ideas or just some gift ideas to buy someone else all under 50 bucks, so just some good gift ideas on a budget as well. Don't forget, I'll have everything you saw listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Happy holidays.